Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my manga collection. So, yeah, it's been like two to three months since you guys have been waiting for this video. And I was originally going to do this video back in June or July, but I got really lazy of doing it. And I didn't have time for it. And I was kind of busy. And I was originally going to do this last year, but... I wanted to get more manga, so now I got more manga this year, and uh, the majority of manga on this shelf are Naruto, as you can see, and these are all in alphabetical order, like from A to Z, and and I'll also show uh, like handbooks, even though they're not really mangas, but I just want to show you them in this video since they're on. Uh, my manga shelf so I'm gonna start off from here and then all the way at the end so yeah I'm going to start off so here is the very first volume of Attack on Titan the desperate battle begins we got the colossal Titan and Eren and this is my very first uh, Attack on Titan manga and this is the first time I read this manga because I first saw the anime and then the game on the PC and then this. Yeah, and then I have volume 2 of Attack on Titan. This is called Birth of a Monster. We got Mikasa and a Titan or Abnormal. And then we got volume 3, Traitor. And this is the last volume of the three. Volume four of Attack on Titan. Humanity pushes back. And this is when they stop using the uh, quotes. And then let me grab these three. Here's volume five. Volume six. And my newest one, Volume 7 of Attack on Titan. Whoops. Yeah, and uh, when I went to Japan last year, uh, I got this in the airport and it's Attack on Titan Volume 15 or Shingeki no Kyojin Volume 15. And this is all in Japanese. And uh, uh, what's cool about this uh, manga is that you can take uh, the slipcover and it has this. Which is actually pretty cool. And, uh, of course, Japanese mangas are shorter than the ones in, uh, North America. See the size comparison. Whoops. So that's pretty weird how, uh, the Japanese mangas are shorter than the North American ones. And there's also, like some pamphlets here and uh attack on titan 3ds game i don't know if you can see it but yeah because of the lighting and it also uh shows or it says uh season two of attack on titan and it says 2016 i don't know if you can see it but should be there Yeah, uh, it said it was going to come this year in February, but it was moved to next year. Yeah. I don't know why they changed the release date of Season 2, but who knows. Next is Beyblade Volume 3, or Bakuten Shu Beyblade Volume 3. We got Tyson on the front, and then Dragoon S, the manga version, and at the back is... Ray, and 
this uh, has Tyson versus Bray and then Tyson versus Kai and then uh, when the Blade Breakers go to China for the next tournament. So this is the White Tiger arc basically. So there's that. Here's volume six. This is the last volume of season one. Tyson and Tala. And at the back is Daichi. Yeah, this is uh, Daichi's first appearance in the manga. And yeah, it has Dragoon V because uh, if you guys didn't know that in the manga, the Beyblades evolved, which was pretty weird. So it's basically like Pokemon and Digimon. This uh, chapter basically covers the battle with the Demolition Boys. And then after that, uh, it's uh, Daichi's story. And then here I have volume 7 of Beyblade. This is the first volume of V-Force. And uh, what's weird about this is that uh, the same shields are working for Dr. Zagart and Boris. Yeah, because it says right here. And, and they're with Dr. Zagart. And also, apparently Boris and Dr. Zagart are friends in this. And then after that, it goes back to a Daichi story. Right here. I think this is the first appearance, first or second appearance of uh, this character. I think his name is Kenosuke. Oh yeah. And he's the uh, owner of Guardian Drigger, if you guys didn't know. And here's the very last volume. Yeah, last. Until Beyblade Rising came out like uh, 13 years later? I don't know. But yeah, this is the final volume of Beyblade. So G Revolution because the way they dress. And of course it says final volume. So uh, this manga covers the battle with Max and uh, Tyson versus Kai and then Next Generation Beyblade and Beyblade the Movie Fierce Battle. And also has a uh, epilogue from Takao Oki. I don't know if you guys could see it, but... Yeah. And it has like some uh, BBA information board stuff. And where you can get the Beyblades, it shows like the Hasbro and uh, Takara Beyblades. And a screenshot from Fierce Battle. Or Takao vs. Daichi. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't find the first or second volume when I went to Odafest. Or the fourth and fifth volume. But I saw volume 8 and 10 and 11 and 12. But I decided not to. Maybe next year. Yeah. Next is Dinosaur King. Does anyone remember this anime? It aired on CW for kids and YTV apparently I didn't know it aired on YTV because I stopped watching it for a while in 2007 yeah so this is the second volume and this is also the last volume of Dinosaur King yeah apparently they didn't make a third volume and this is the last one because it says the end if I can find it it's right here it's with Max and uh, Rex and it also comes with the card like Yu-Gi-Oh which is pretty cool but uh, basically Dinosaur King was a wannabe and ripoff of Yu-Gi-Oh and Digimon and uh, mixed between Jurassic Park, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Digimon, and others. Right, next is volume 13 of Dragon Ball. Yeah, it's like being up because 
I got this used in the library a few years back. So that's why it looks like this. Yeah, so I think... Yeah, this is when Goku was battling Piccolo. And, and I think this was after the tournament. Yeah. Okay. Next is Naruto. So before I show you the ones that are on the shelf, I'm going to show you the ones that are on here first. Okay, let's start from the bottom. Here is uh, Naruto the Boy Ninja, the mini chapter book series. Does anyone remember this? It's the ones that were adapted by Tracy West. Hold on a minute. Yeah, these were like really, really bizarre. It was like basically a abridged version of the Naruto story. And I think it only had like 15 chapter books and then they stopped yeah i was originally going to get the second volume but i decided not to here's another uh like a bridge version of the naruto story naruto innocent heart demonic blood apparently this is uh based on the ova but from what i've read it's just basically volume one two and three and four into one and yeah and like i said this is like the mini chapter book series but it's kind of different yeah and here are the two naruto movie mangas yeah ninja clash in the land of snow and legend of the stone of galel yeah i don't have the third movie i was originally going to get the third movie at a manga but i wanted to get something else and it was like too much. So I decided to get these two instead. Yeah, uh, the first movie is one of my favorite Naruto movies. And yeah, the subtitles in here are the dialogue from the dub version. Yeah, and here's the second movie. Oh, I didn't show you the backs. My bad. And this one's called A Princess in Peril and Struggle for the Stone. Yeah, the second movie was still good, but not as good as the first, in my opinion. Yeah. I wish they made uh, more of these, like for Shippuden, but they only stopped until the third one, which I don't know why. Well, actually, they did make something like that, which is, hold on a minute. Just need to show you, which was this. It was from uh, the Naruto Shippuden movie uh, DVD. It was kind of similar to that, but it was short. See? And it also has the, you're reading the wrong direction sign. Yeah, so it's similar, but it's not in the style of like, this they also made more uh, anime mangas like for Inuyasha, Yu-Gi-Oh, and I think Dragon Ball Z, but I'm not sure on that. Okay, just need a pen over here. Okay, let me get these three volumes. So here's Naruto Volume 25, 26, and 27. Yeah, Sasuke Second State, Nine Tail Naruto, and Naruto Sasuke and Itachi. Uh, these are the final three volumes of the original series and this basically covers up the battle with Naruto and Sasuke and volume 25 also has uh, flashbacks of Sasuke and Itachi which basically covers up the whole um, manga volume and volume 27 uh, also has Kakashi Chronicles Yeah, and here's my first uh, Naruto volume, Naruto volume 28. This is the very first volume for Shippuden. Yeah, volume 25 wasn't my first. It was actually my fourth Naruto manga, I do believe. And then this one was my fifth. Yeah. This also comes with a Naruto poster. 
I don't know if you can see it, but. Yeah. And here's my second Naruto manga. Naruto Volume 29. And here is Naruto Volume 30. Sakura and Chio versus uh, Sasori. Also, Naruto and Kakashi versus Deidara or Diodara. And here's the last volume for the Kazakage arc, Rescue Mission arc. 31. Okay, this also comes with stickers. Or a sticker. It's for the 40th anniversary Shonen Jump poster. And here's volume 34. Yeah, I didn't get 32 or 33, so I skipped to 34. Because it was the newest one. And this is uh, the volume where they reunite with Sasuke. Yeah. Here's volume 38 of Naruto. Uh, this basically covers uh, the battle with... Kakuzu and uh, when Sasuke forms his uh, team Yeah, and also this comes with bookmarks So 38 has Naruto and 39 and 40 of Naruto This one has Sasuke And then 40 has Sakura. I was originally going to take these out of the books, but I decided not to. So I just left them in there. Here's volume 41, a really cool art. Shows all the Akatsuki members and Naruto. And this is uh, where the pain arc starts, or... Jiraiya's death. This also comes with stickers. It's basically the first uh, four volumes of Shippuden. And I think uh, with volume 45, I think, or 44, it was volume 32 through 35. Yeah. Whoops. I already showed that to you. Here's volume 43 of Naruto. So, this is... Basically, uh, Sasuke versus Itachi, or it covers Sasuke versus Itachi. Yeah, so this is basically the longest Naruto volume, because it has like a lot of pages and it's like kind of bulky. I was originally going to get volume forty-four and forty-five, but I wanted to get the latest volume, so. I decided to get this Falling 48 yeah this came with the Sakura card but I'm not gonna show you it in this video and I made a review on this also a Shonen Jump uh, volume here's 49 I got this a year later cuz uh, I stopped uh, buying manga cuz uh, I wanted to get other things like Beyblades and Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pokemon cards. Here's volume 50. Yeah, and they use this uh, image for uh, the 2011 Shining Jump uh, spine cover. Here's 56. Yeah, I missed like five volumes, but oh well. Yeah, it says Disney XD, but it doesn't show on Disney XD anymore because it has nothing to do with Disney. Here's 57. And 58 and 59. This is when they're battling Itachi and Nagato. And I think... No. Oh wait, yeah, when they're battling uh, the reanimated Kage. And this one when they're battling Madara. Okay, 
just need to pan over here. Okay, so we'll grab these two. Here's volume 60 and 61. Really like the artwork for this. Also with the back. So this is when they're battling Obito. And this one, when they're battling Kabuto. Yeah. Now, of course, like the others, I was going to get 62 and 63, but since the last volume was released, I wanted to get that instead. So here it is, the final volume of Naruto. The artwork on Naruto and Sasuke is really weird. It's like real life. And uh, when I went to Odafest this year, yeah, Odafest was in July for some reason, but I actually prefer Odafest in July than in May. Yeah, but I got Naruto, the seventh Hokage, and the Scarlet Spring, or Naruto Gaiden for short. Yeah, so here's the back. Yeah, so I hope they do the same thing with uh, Beyblade Rising because since they made this and they released this in manga form, why can't you do the same thing with Beyblade? Yeah, just gonna move this. And something just fell. Uh, here's Sailor Moon Volume 1. Yes, I did watch Sailor Moon when I was a kid, but not that much it was mostly my sister uh the only reason why i got this is because well it's childhood and i wanted to get other mangas beside naruto and attack on titan so i got this all right next up is yokai watch volume one one of my favorite animes currently So if you haven't uh, checked out Yokai Watch, I'd say check it out. It's a really cool anime and it's pretty entertaining, but it's basically a Pokemon wannabe, but it's better in my opinion. And here's the last manga, Yu-Gi-Oh! Volume 1. Yeah, I also got this at the library. That's why it's like this. Okay. Just need to grab these three. Okay, start from the bottom again. Uh, here's Bakugan Field Open Brawler Guide. It just basically tells you the types of like Bakugan and the elements, the characters, and the shell basically. Uh, Basically, Bakugan was a wannabe Beyblade because of the characters and the story was kind of similar. And they also have uh, voices from Beyblade, like Runo is the voice of uh, Mariah, and uh, Marucho is the voice of Johnny. Dan is the voice of Tetsuya. Yeah, he's also the voice of Yang from Yin Yang Yo. And Shun is the voice of uh, Leon from gay wheels and gay warriors gay raiders and there's also some more characters oh yeah uh julie this chick right here is the voice of matilda ashley and hikaru and masquerade is the voice of michael kevin romero andrew and hioma yeah and here are their bakugans Oh yeah, uh, the voice of uh, Drago is the voice of Benke, or the same voice as Benke. Yeah, the two most annoying characters in Beyblade are partners. And yeah, he's like a Dragoon ripoff. And uh, Skyris, this one, is a wannabe Dronzer. And Tigrera is a wannabe Drigger and Galax. Yeah, uh, Bakugan was a good anime series, but uh, after season two, it kind of went downhill. But I like how they kept the same characters. 
yeah. As the seasons went on. Next is Beyblade, the official handbook. And this, of course, is much better than the Metal Fusion Metal Masters handbook. Uh, this basically shows like the teams, like here are the Blade Breakers. And it shows Kenny and Dizzy, There's Kai, and Tyson, and then Ray, and then Max. Here are the White Tigers, All Stars. Yeah, I'm just showing you all the teams. Uh, Majestics and uh, the Demolition Boys and the other characters and uh, episode guides and uh, it also shows a preview for V Force right here. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. and uh, Beyblade the Sport. How to be a Beyblade champion. What is a Beyblade or what is Beyblade? The blades, see? Blades! Not freaking Bay. Gosh. It's Bay Goma. They just mistranslated it. And here are the right five pieces equal a winning blade, see? Got the bit chip, the attack ring. The weight disc, the spin gear, and the blade base. Yeah, and it also shows the electronic bronzer. And uh, what are all those stars doing on the side of the box? Well, it explains it. If you want to read it, then just pause the video here. Here's the stadium. Yeah, these are the classic stadiums. And yeah, like I said, with the burst stadiums, they're trying to go back to the design of this. So. I like how Hasbro's doing that with the stadiums again. Here are the launcher and the ripcord, and the dragoon shooter, and here are the Beyblade rules in play. Whoops. And special power spirit rules for more extreme Beyblade action. Here are uh, our figures of Dragoon, Dronzer, Draceal, and Drigger. And the BBA official rules. Play. Whoops. And here's the stadium again. See? And here's some more. And Tyson is pointing at you. So, what's the one thing you can do to become a championship Beyblader? And there's Dragoon in the logo. And that's it. Then for last, here's uh, Duel Masters, yeah. This is called a uh, Cinemanga, and yeah, this is another form of manga, besides the Animanga and those kinds. And yeah, I don't know why I put this when I was a kid. Like, band-aids and freaking toothpaste stickers? Yeah, don't worry, I did not use these band-aids. These were like not used yeah and yeah the stickers yeah they're okay but freaking band-aids and this oh my gosh yeah uh, if you guys didn't know uh duel masters was a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh ripoff because of the card game and uh there's some other cinemangas that they released like ninja storm yeah, Ninja Storm. Power Rangers Ninja Storm. One of my favorite Power Rangers seasons. Jackie Chan Adventures. Transformers Armada. And also, G.I. Joe. Yeah. So I'm just going to put these back. Alright, so I guess that's it for this video on my manga collection so I might do another subscriber video special but we'll see yeah I'm almost up to 1,000 subscribers but I'll probably reach it until like next year or 2018 who knows yeah so uh, 
check out my other videos and make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Link will be in the description below. And what's your favorite manga and anime? Let me guys know. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Comment, subscribe, and like always, I'm out. Peace.